climate change is probably the biggest driver it should be uh, to you know, push us to electrify now. Um, you know, we need to move away from burning fossil fuels uh, in our own, um, and we need to then transition the grid itself. You know, for if we're switching from fossil fuels to electric, we need to make sure the electric we produce is itself clean. Uh, but you know, we we obviously need even if the grid was 100% solar and we're still burning um, natural gas and oil at home. You know, we're we're not quite all the way there, right? So we need to address all all parts of this uh, puzzle. Um, and I just want to note that we're, you know, we're talking about a building electrification. Um, at the same time, we need to talk about tra the transportation sector, so electric cars, electric trucks, uh, and the industrial sector, uh, which is its own challenge. Um, but uh, I think beyond the, the climate importance, which I do not want to minimize, it is like probably the, the biggest reason we want to do this. Um, there are a couple of other immediate reasons, uh, and one of them is health. So you know we're burning natural gas or oil in a home for heating, for water, um, for cooking, uh, and that's shown to introduce some amount of emissions into the home, uh, both in the form of particulates and combustion byproducts like NOx and SOx. Um, and there's also a very proven link that uh, the higher rates of those indoor uh, environmental pollutants um, that those are causing health issues, uh, especially for children. Um, I you know I. Hope that people know. I don't know if it's common knowledge to everybody, but Philly has a real crisis in asthma, especially for low-income, uh, you know, children that are living in low-income homes. Um, in some places, it's one in every four children. Uh, this West Philly is is one of those areas. So, um, you know, this is not the entire story, but it's definitely a contributor. Uh, we do a lot. In, in introducing ventilation into the home, making sure that you know all those pollutants are taken out of the home, but obviously it's much better to not have them there to begin with. Um, and even if we do get them out of the home, this all ends up contributing to the pollution, the general kind of miasma of negative air quality in our neighborhoods. Um, you know, they, obviously it comes from cars and trucks and buses um, and the industries uh, in, in the city, but um, what we're doing in our homes is also contributing uh, 